Continuing working with the global context, in this flow, we're gonna use the global context to record how many seconds elapsed between random ejections initiated by the delay node. To start, we're gonna pull out an inject node, a debug node, two function nodes, and a delay node, and wire them all together. In the first function node, we're gonna call it creating and saving start time. And in the body, we're gonna use the context feature, global start time. And we're gonna create a new date object and which gets the time. So this saves the time when the program started to the global context, which we can access from other outside nodes. So we're gonna click done and double click on the delay node. In the delay node, we're gonna set the action to random delay between one and five seconds. In the second function node, we are going to name it time elapsed. And first we're gonna create a variable that stores the current time. So we're gonna create another date object and get the time. Now we're gonna calculate the time elapsed by subtracting the current time by the context.global.start time. And then we're gonna set the message payload for the string, keep it nice and pretty. Add the time elapsed plus seconds. And now we're ready to deploy. And now we're going to inject. And we see the time elapsed on the debug console. 